Hi, and welcome to the 68th Hammer Tutorial. Today, we're going to be making color correction. A lot of people have been asking for color correction. If you've ever played the Map Gary's Mod, or it's GM or RP Apocalypse, they have a day-night system, which is actually <laughs> pretty genius. It uses color correction to change how the map looks. So, here's what we're going to do. Today is create color correction. So the first thing you need to do is open up your map and put an entity in it named color underscore correction. Simple, right? Under lookup distance, under fall off start distance, put negative one. And under end distance, put negative one. Because we want this to show everywhere. Because we're going to configure our color correction here. We need to create a lookup table is what they're called. So now you just need to compile your map. And then we load up our game. Now we load our map up. Click start. Now you'll notice nothing different in your map. And if you have Netgraph on, you're going to want to turn it off. Because it, it, for some reason, it, it messes with your cursor. So now, we want to bring up your console, and we want to put SV cheats space one in, and color correction UI. Now, if you press escape, it's going to close it out. Just press the tilde key, and it will minimize it. You'll notice that your FPS, if you have netgraph on, your FPS will get capped at 30 as long as it's open. So that's fine. You will notice that two windows have popped up, a lookup view and a color correction tool window. The lookup view, pretty much if you're smart, have a decent IQ of average, you can tell that these are all the colors that the game can have. So, basically what color correction does is it's going to manipulate it. If your color correction doesn't work, go into video, advanced, and make sure color correction is enabled. It is a must. Now, under color correction tools, also tick enabled, and you you want enable entities on. Now you want to click the new. It will open up a new item, and you have oper five different operations. If you've used a uh, software, I mean like Photoshop, or say before, then this should be no problem. But I'm going to create an eerie black and white feel. So if you just mess with these a little bit, you'll get it. You just select your tool. You don't have to name it. I'm going to name mine black and white. Then click create. It'll open up a new window. If you're using the selected HVC and you want to, say, make it black and white, click select all. And so this is the problem that I had before. I wouldn't allow it to work. If you tick select once or twice, you'll notice that it will work. The colors are becoming dull and not bright. And if I drag this slider, the colors will become actually richer. Now there is one problem that I've noticed. Right now, if I were to save this and load it in game, it would be completely black and white. You'll see over on the far left side here that the police lights are still colored a little bit. So whatever you pick, it will be a lot more intense than what it is right now which is why the lookup table view helps you a lot so after you've done that you can close out a window create a new one then levels and it's just like using photoshop make darks darker and lights lighter and also again like photoshop it has layers so you can move things up or down depending on what you want Then once you're happy with your color correction, click save. And now it'll default to the root directory. You go into C-Strike or the game. 
then materials and you also and then you want to create a folder called correction now in here you want to save your file with the prefix of cc underscore the stands for color correction. This will make it work. A lot of times it won't work if you don't save it as this. Mm -hmm. it didn't work for me when I saved it as something else, so just do it. Then save it as something. And then click save. It'll The game will almost seem to lock up for a second when you do that. That's fine. Now we jump back in the hammer okay now we're back in counter-strike there is there are actually two ways to apply color correction to your map now it's not really recommended to use the other way it's only wise to use this way so what we're gonna do here is use the color correction way the other way is with a volume but it's glitched it pretty much overrides all other color correction so we can do this now under lookup table file name for this you want to open your game directory go into your game the root of the game materials and correction then you want to copy the materials slash correction and then the entire file name if you don't have the file extensions on you'll need to add the dot raw at the end for it to actually work. So, now you'll see here that I have two circles. These are the helper circles. Defaultly, there is only the look up end distance, and if you're using that, it's just that is the only area inside there is where it it works. And for that, it uses the look up the fade in and out durations. So if you want it to fade in and fade out, that's fine. I prefer the gradient transition is what I like to call it is when you have two circles two helper circles and one is where it ends and one is where it's at full so right now this outside circle is the end so anything on the outside is not color corrected and this distance in between is the transition from nothing to full now if you were to take the the start distance and put it outside the end distance see how the value is greater now everywhere but the center will have color correction on it typically you use it to add color correction to one area and not to a whole map but one area so that's how you put color correction in your map I'm going to press the compile button here and then I will see you in count okay so now we're in our map and as I walk close to the body boom there is the color correction effect now if I crouch out we can see the transitions start to happen here now only one color correction entity can be run at a time and only one color correction uh, raw file can be active at a time otherwise you will experience errors now as you'll see here the amount of color correction is a lot richer than what we did when we first programmed it as you can see by the side-by-side -side shots of when I programmed this color correction effect and when it's actually used are completely totally different now what I like to do when I use color correction is I create a dummy effect it's pretty much just a raw file to get loaded now this is what the color correction actually looks like in game if you put on SV cheats go to color correction and now click enable it will remove all color correction effects that are on and start fresh again now when I click new go to the selected HVS click create select all and I put the saturation to zero now it's actually true black and white it's not it's not the fake black and white that it was before this is what it will actually look like in game so through the small loophole you can see what it it will look like in game better than you know just guess and check I guess you could call it so anyways I hope this tutorial helped you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Ooh, scary cold eerie feeling Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll stop now thanks guys